Uh, this is a video. Uh, as you know that. But this is a video of me talking about a YouTuber that I like. One of my favorite YouTubers. Well, not one of my favorite, but I still like watching him. Is goes by the name of the Gamertron. So he does a lot of good videos. A lot of good contents of video, of videos, uh, video games. You know, he's. I can tell for one thing, he's passionate. Um, I, I'm, I'm really passionate at video games. I used to, I used to have a huge collection of, uh, uh, yeah, retro gaming consoles. Sorry, I had to think, but I had a huge. I used to have a huge collection of retro gaming consoles. I had. At NES, um, I one of my favorite games on that um, was like I think it was Super Mario Bros. Uh, one of the first Mario games on that console. Uh, I one of my first console in general was the GameCube. Uh, yes, I was a Nintendo boy. I was a Nintendo kid. Uh, one of my favorite video games of all time during that era. When I was a kid, was Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Uh, and it's funny because, you know, I heard during that time, oh, you know, GameCube was awful, blah, 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 which is a bunch of crap. It's not awful. Not at all. I'm sorry. Game, the GameCube was a, was a great gaming console. Uh, one of my... And there's also the fact that people are like, well, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 was awful. It's like, no, it's not. I'm sorry. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 was genuinely fun. You know, it was one of the fun, one of the most fun games I ever played. That's even such a word. My point is, it's a fun game. Um, but the, all the other gaming consoles I had were... There was the NES that I had, the Sega Dreamcast, the Sega Genesis, whatever Sega, Jig, whatever you want to call it, Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, it's the same thing. But I had uh, the NES, the original Xbox, and Sega Mega Drive, slash Genesis, because they're pretty much the same thing. The GameCube, I had a 360, I had a PS2, a PS1, I... I had all sorts of gaming consoles. I even had the Atari 2600, and I loved that thing. Um, and it's funny because people are like, well, the thing with the Atari 2600 is an awful console because it caused the crash of blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, not exactly. Atari didn't cause that crash. You know what caused it? Oversaturation. Of garbage games. That's what caused it. Like what's going on. Uh, I want to say going on. But in my opinion. I know this is probably wrong. And I'll take the L for this. Uh, like a man. But in my opinion. And these are just my opinion. You have the right to hate me. Don't care. I, I mean. I, how do I put it? You have the right to hate me. Or hate my opinions. Whatever. And that's your right. I don't really care. Um, but in my opinion, the main, most, I say most, not all AAA, but a lot of AAA games are garbage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, though that's my opinion, again, you can hate me, and that's great, whatever. I don't know why you would want to hate me, but whatever. Um, but the games I've been playing... One of my favorite games that I've been playing is Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, I'm at. Will I ever forgive CD Projekt Red for lying? No. I won't forgive them for lying to me. But I mean, let's be honest, it was my own fault. <laughs> it, it, it was really my own fault because um, it, it just sounded too good to be true. Um, I let them lie to me, you know, by believing in the nonsense they believed that they said, instead of actually doing my research, and, uh, yeah, I let myself, I, it was really my fault, but does that mean I trust CDPR? Probably not. Does that mean I won't buy their game? No, but I, that doesn't mean I trust them. 
Uh, in fact, most of the time I don't trust most companies because I'll just treat you like crap. They don't care about you. Um, the it and I and I haven't I wasn't the games I have the I want to put it. I didn't just play retro games. Uh, I didn't just had retro games. I had all sorts of different type of games. Um, like I had an old Steam account that had like close to a thousand video games on it. A lot of uh, hun not just a hun not to thousands, but I had like dozens of thousands of free video games that were free and I'm like oh sweet <laughs> I love free games because I don't have to pay for them <laughs> but I also had a whole bunch of other games that I got from Humble Bundle and it's and from its.io when I buy some of the games you know on its.io I, I'll get like a some some of the games that I, that I bought I would get a uh, a steam a steam key for uh, to re to redeem on my Steam account and so uh, and this is on my old Steam account and uh, I had all sorts of different type of video games you know I had um, I bought some of the earlier Call of Duty because I personally like Call of Duty uh, I also had a few Battlefield games because again I like Battlefield um, I had uh, I like I had I completed my entire Star Wars almost my entire Star Wars game collection uh, digital collection uh, basically I bought a whole bunch and uh, majority of the Star Wars games uh, and I had a whole bunch of them because I was a huge fan of Star Wars I don't like the movies I don't care but um, but I love the Star Wars games yeah um, I had uh, the uh, but it's sad. The one thing I think is sad is I. I actually be, there was a there's a YouTube channel, a YouTuber goes by the name of Going Indie. I'm sorry, his name is stupid, because nothing in his um, you know nothing in his nothing that none of the videos he made, um, were about indies. Uh, and one of them was about how, you know. Somehow it is dead, even though that doesn't make any sense because it still exists, and so there's probably different people. But I mean, they made some of the most successful video games of the of the last decade. Doom 2016, that's a good one. Um, they made Doom Eternal, another one. They made a few other ones like, oh. Yeah, like Rage 2, I think it's, is it Rage 2? Yeah, Rage, Rage 2. I know people say, well, those are, those are garbage. It's like, well, oh, I'm sorry, I like Rage 2. I like the original Rage game because they're generally fun. I just like them, yeah. But, yeah, I've seen the videos of going indie. Uh, don't watch them. Just, I mean, if you want to watch him, that's fine. I don't care. I won't watch them because watch him or whatever because I don't. Uh, I just don't want to watch him. <laughs> I had. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I just don't want to watch people who lies and stuff like that. Um, yeah. It just. I don't understand why people will do like why people lie I mean but you, you should go watch the game of Tron so because he's a really good youtuber and he makes excellent content in my opinion <laughs> but seriously he, he makes excellent content um but yeah I right now I'm saving some money to get a Steam Deck and then hopefully a gaming PC and probably a PS5 and some and I'm probably gonna buy a few games um, this week like Bastion 
because I the game Bastion that was released in 2011 by Supergiant Game, one of the best indie studios there is. Uh, not the best, but one of the best ones. Um, and I'm probably going to, I want to buy Bastion because it looks fun, you know. And it, I'm also looking forward to buying the game V O I D B A S T E R T. I don't know how you say, how you spell bastard, but yeah, it's, it's called Void Bastard. It's a work like yada yada yada. I don't really care, but I want to buy it because I have played it uh, through Game Pass several years ago. I won the doing the Trady Tans of when Game Pass like was really new i played it it was fun and i want i want to buy it on steam because i don't have it on my xbox series x no i do not and yes uh i used to be a i used to be a nintendo kid i am a i'm i and then i ended up becoming a microsoft kid i'm not microsoft anymore i still have an xbox series x but that's mainly because i don't have a kid uh, I don't really have a high-end gaming PC. All I have is a garbage PC that can't even run. You know, I mean, you can turn it on and you can still use it, but it's <laughs> it's not good. Um, just not. So I'm gonna save my money to get a gaming PC and a Steam Deck. But I also had a Steam Deck. It's a long story. Basically, my old same account got stolen because I was a bloody idiot, and I ended up giving my Steam Deck back. I ended up get, selling it to my dad, and uh, yeah, I feel stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I ended up having a new Steam account because my old one got stolen. Yeah, I'm an idiot sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm gonna be much more careful. Uh, bye.